at least 700,000 Spaniards, probably more close to a million, have been living since the crisis began. The main destination is the UK and the Yemen, and within the UK, Edinburgh is the second destination after London. But when I asked them, why are you not in Spain, the answers were very appalling, because they describe a very, very precarious and and a lack of even dignity in the, in the conditions of working people who did have work. So that was like the, the common thing. So it's, it's a much more modest approach because it just takes um, it's about 25 interviews in the, in the ministry. It's also people who have been here longer because uh, I never wanted to portray immigration as a problem. I mean, it's a problem we don't want to go, but then so many other things happen and and you open up and you learn when you have a talk. So there are some testimonies of people who have been here longer and, and, and they are fine. But I did want to address the, the, the actual crisis in Spain, trying to find answers, trying to find to explore why and the consequences of that for people in first person. And there is also a, an actor in a monologue which tries to explain what has happened since Franco to today. So there's many other elements trying to say why this is happening, why this crisis, where we come from, and, What's been the past of this? This is not just out of the room, this is something that comes from way back.